about three years ago, a Robert Christopher on my uh, Vitavac airflow test had asked me if I could measure the uh, the model number escapes me right now, but he asked if I could measure like the sanitaire force upright. And I was like, you know, if I ever come across one for a good price, sure. And then I found this domestic version. Now, when I picked this up, I didn't realize one key thing. This one is 12 amps, and the sanitaire versions are only 10 amps. I mean, kind of take this with a grain of salt because it's not exactly the same, but it is pretty much the same. So, I've also seen these rebadged as a power flight, and I can't remember what they called them either, but I really do hope they improve the, uh, <laughs> the kind of the durability of it, because I had some issues with plastic cracking as I took this apart. Like this little piece down here, it's just a That snapped right off because I mean it's kind of a retainer clip that helps hold the motor into place that snapped right off and then I had another piece of plastic snap off on the motor housing but you know it's probably how old but it does use the same LS bags it does use the same HEPA filter and speaking of the HEPA filter I got an aftermarket one that I can't remember I think it was a DVC it was in a clear plastic package, and man, this filter did not want to go on here. I really had to push on here. I mean, I was actually putting my weight on it to get that into place. I don't know what's up with that. It's like, I know this is supposed to be a sealed system, which... I mean, they clearly, you know, have, you know, work to create a seal around there. And then one thing I thought was odd is... They, uh, they have a little tube that goes into the rear bearing on the motor that is kind of fed into the, uh, fed into the air path here. I suppose, you know, because they're not really allowing airflow from that belt area to that bearing. It's like that's kind of their way of attempting to keep that rear bearing cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before, so, I mean, that was kind of odd. But, yeah... It's like other than the motor and of course it not having the metal handle. As far as I know, these are the same. And it reminds me a little bit of like the Eureka SmartVac in the way this thing is set up. I mean, it has a, let me think. It's mostly in this motor casing. I mean, it does remind me of the SmartVac. And then there's like a rubber plug where the headlight is connected here. You can kind of see it through there but it's like that you have to kind of like twist out a place and push through the hole to remove it but anyways uh now that we've discussed a little bit of the model differences why don't we just go ahead and get on with the testing of this thing like i said it's not exactly the same so take it with a grain of salt so here's our ambient <laughs> Just out of curiosity, let's run it on the carpet. <laughs> well, I think this comparison might actually be a lot closer than we think. Despite, once again, them being rated for 12 amps, we are not seeing that level of energy usage we are running at about 10 amps so this might be more of a one-to-one -one comparison than we thought and i totally forgot here is our rating plate all right and just due to the way the hose the way this hose is set up it runs through a uh, bracket at the bottom that i would have to remove or either take the hose cuffs off in order to get that through there and straighten the hose out completely so we are going to do the hose test with that 90 degree turn intact because it's just part of the design. So let's take a flow measurement of the hose.
If they haven't improved the quality of the plastics on them since they were originally made for domestic usage, they probably shouldn't be commercial. And to me, they just seem like they're a little bit bulky. I mean, commercial machines often are, but I mean, it's just so big and kind of clunky. So, I mean, it definitely wouldn't be my first choice. I mean, you could do worse, but you could also do a lot better. And I don't really understand the bags. So the Type LS bag has a square opening. And then you have to fold these, this cardboard piece back and this cardboard piece back. And I suppose they're kind of like a handle to make it easier to pull out. But I don't know. This just kind of perplexes me. You don't see too many square openings in vacuum cleaner bags. Although I suppose the... Eureka ST has a square one, and the Z has kind of a rectangular one. And possibly the Excalibur, but it's been a while. I don't know. 